Brother right now, Marcus Bagwell, mm -hmm. a chance to finally stand down, right? Yeah, we're able to stand down now. Very close call in regards to this storm, but as you heard there from uh, from Frank over in Marshall, significant wind, a big concern for us. Peak wind gusts in Marshall up to 48 miles an hour, but that was before the sensor at the Harrison County Airport went down. We probably had some higher wind gusts. Toledo Van Hempel at 44 mile an hour gusts. The rest of us 25 to almost 30. And look at how extensive this storm is. Very tight area of low pressure with Laura once it came on shore. And that is what caused us to see some stronger winds in our area today. That storm still moving through Arkansas. As a matter of fact, they have had a confirmed tornado in the northeast part of Arkansas. Some major damage ongoing in that region for us as they're dealing with the effects of Laura. This storm is now a depression continuing to weaken, but it brings a lot of rain and some additional severe weather concerns over this area for tomorrow into the weekend that races off into the mid Atlantic and eventually back into the Atlantic Ocean. We're not done though with the indirect impacts from Laura. The upper level system is going to bring a wave of energy here come tomorrow morning. Clouds will begin to pick up and we're going to be looking at a few showers and a couple of storms possible in our area. It doesn't look to be widespread, but we will hold on to about a 20% rain chance in the morning hours. And then as we get toward the afternoon, We'll get a break and then sunshine to take over in the area, and that means it's going to be a very hot day. But a few more isolated storms possible late in the afternoon. That gets close to game time for week one of Friday football fever. We'll monitor those, but by time games start, we should have nearly all storms completely over with. So here's your forecast tomorrow. Rain chances in the morning and then in the afternoon, mainly for deep east Texas. And if you don't see rain, the heat is the main story tomorrow, mid-90s. Nearly everybody under a heat advisory with the heat index 105 to 108. It could peak at 110 for a heat index value over the weekend. The temperatures close to near 100 for the final days of August. Can't rule out a stray shower Sunday. 100 the forecast on Monday and Tuesday. A couple of storms Monday night into Tuesday. We drop down briefly to the lower and mid 90s. Here's deep east Texas. You got some storms late tomorrow afternoon possible, but otherwise we are on track for a very humid weekend to come. A few more storms coming next week.